No. Can I get your number now? Why get, not? Get lost. Street. Oh, oh no. heck no. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? No, no, no. So I went to Dunkin' Donuts today. What'd you get? They were out of jelly-filled donuts. What? So I had to settle for Dude, what's that? Dude, what's that? Watch out, what's that up there? Hold up. What is that? It's a person. Are you okay? Excuse me. What's your name? I, I don't know. What did he do to you? <laughs> he raped me. Oh no. Oh no. Are you okay? Are you okay? Where'd he go? Get him some air. Where'd he go? Where'd he, which way did he go? Which way did he go? That way? Okay. Right, let's kill him. Okay. Sorry. You'll be okay. Please explain everything that just happened tonight. Uh, I was walking back from a friend's house, and I noticed this, this really nice car come right up behind me, and he was he was calling out to me. This the, the driver. He, he he was calling out to me, and he asked for my number, and I said, "You can't have it." And he insisted that I get in the car with him, and and then he stopped the car. And he got out, and he chased me, and then he put the bag on my head, and then he put in the car. It's an awful story, man, but we've narrowed it down to three suspects, and we were hoping you could choose one of them. Okay. They look a little similar, so you'll have to focus. Oh my god, um... Definitely not him. I would recognize the beard. Um... Oh, these two are so similar. Uh, him! It was definitely him. I recognized him. He was calling at me. Are you positive? I'm positive. I would know. <laughs> it's him. It's him. So... I think, I think this is the house. Yeah, we've been hunting this guy all night. It's, this better be it. Let's go check it out. Hey, good feeling about this one. Hello, sir, it's the police. Open up. All right, we're coming in. To say salsa, can you say salsa? Salsa. salsa. Say salsa. Chase him, I'll get the car. Okay. I got you, Ernesto. Under arrest, sir. Is that good? <laughs> Sit down. Okay, 
You're not some Miranda, is it? Yep. What were you doing last night? Well, <laughs> you see, there's this new episode of Glee on last night, <laughs> and you know, I was just like, I have to watch it. So, got a nice bag of popcorn and watched it. Why do you think this is such a joke? <laughs> because I didn't do it. I know I didn't sexually assault her, so why are you questioning me? What are my rights? It's funny. We didn't say anything about sexually assaulting. Okay. And you don't have any rights. What were you doing last night, Mr. Miranda? I was watching Glee. What were you really doing? Watching Glee. We have a witness who says you sexually assaulted her. Tell me the truth. Okay, I wasn't watching Glee. Glee's on Thursdays now. This was on Wednesday. So what were you doing? I'll be honest. I might have been yes. driving a car. Just driving around. Just... So you were driving a car? Yeah. What else did you do? Um, I was just enjoying the music. I'll tell you what, if you want to keep your limbs, you're going to sign this confession. Pen. Like I said, if you want to keep your limbs, Kate. you're going to sign this confession. No pressure, just sign it. I mean. Alright, happy? Good job, we'll see you in court. All rise for the Honorable Judge Earl. This court is now in session. Sir, would you please remove your hats? Yeah. Now, statement from the defendant. Your Honor, at no time was my client told his right to counsel. He was not advised to remain silent, and he was not even told that his statements would be used against him in the court of law. He was forced to sign a confession. Forced? Is in third degree? Yes. Is there a statement from the prosecutor? Your Honor, the prosecutor asserts that... No, no, no. We do not use third person in my court. I do not accept such drivelry. Your Honor, the, the pro I assert that Ernesto Miranda signed a confession and committed this crime, and although he is not explicitly given his rights, they did not need to be told to him. Based on evidence, the court has decided that due to the coercive nature of the custodial interrogation by the police, no confession could be admissible under the Fifth Amendment self-incrimination clause and Sixth Amendment right to an attorney unless a suspect had been made aware of his or her rights and the suspect had then waived them. Therefore, you are being granted parole. This court is adjourned. Ernesto Miranda, is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I had it that time. <laughs> okay. Line one. One, <laughs> two, three. Ernesto Miranda, is it? Yep. God. <laughs> God. That's some random, is it? Yep. What were you doing last night? Well, you see, I got a nice bag of popcorn. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> say what, what? We have a witness. Who's your witness? We have a witness. We have a witness. You have to go to the witness. <laughs> I don't know what her name is. Stop asking. He's gonna go out and rape the witness. I don't know what her name is. Give me her name. Give me her address. Victim. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You can't ask me. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. No, like stop.
I was walking back <laughs> from a friend's house to be excluded from this case. Look at his mold and his suit. How can you believe him? Your Honor, I assert that this is the style That's of the time. <laughs> All right, start from there. Come on, grab it. Okay. <laughs> we don't need that. It's not no, no, it's very important. No, it's gonna keep 